Okay, guys, uh, this topic is called literal equations, uh, where we're solving for a particular variable. So let's try. We're going to solve ax plus b equals c for x. And then after we do that, we're going to use that solution to solve uh, for 2x plus 5 equals 11. Okay, here we go. ax plus b equals c. Now when you solve equations, uh, we do order of operations backwards. PEMDAS is backwards when you're solving equations. So I'm going to get rid of that plus b first and subtract b from both sides. And when I subtract b from both sides, the b's are going to cancel. I'm left with ax equals c minus b. Now ax means a times x, so we're going to divide, do the opposite of times. Divide both sides by a because we need to solve for x. And when we divide both sides by a, the a's cancel, so we get x equals c minus b over a. So we got that first sentence done. Okay, so the second part is we're going to uh, solve, it says the second um, sentence says, uh, use that solution to solve for 2x plus 5 equals 11. Now, I made the 2 and the 5 and the 11 red because they stand for the a's, b's, and c's. So uh, a would be the 2, b uh, would be the 5, and, and c would be the 11. Okay, so we're going to plug that into what we solved for, x equals c minus b over a. Remember, uh, a, b, and c, just plug them in. So um, c is 11, b is 5, a is 2. So plug them in their place. 11 minus 5 is 6, and then 6 over 2 is going to be 3. Okay, let's try another one of those. Same directions. We're going to solve for x, and then when we solve for x, uh, we're going to uh, 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 plug in the 12, the 5, and the 3 for the a, b, and c. Okay, uh, we've got to watch out for that negative, you guys, in front of the bx. All right, so first we're going to take away that a from both sides. So minus a, minus a on both sides. And that negative is still with the b, so it's uh, minus bx. Don't, a lot of kids want to drop that off. It's still there. Uh, got to be careful with that. Uh, equals c minus a. And then uh, we're going to divide both sides, not just by b. We're going to divide by the negative b also. So there's my negative b on both sides. And then the b's will cancel. And so will the negatives. The negatives will cancel then too. And so we get uh, x equals c minus a over b. Now, most math books uh, think uh, leaving the negative in the denominator is tacky. So what we're going to do is put it up on top. And what it does is it, it changes all the signs of everything on top. So that positive C becomes a negative C, and that minus sign becomes a plus sign. And then they're going to flip around the A and the C because they like to, it just looks cleaner with the minus C uh, coming second. So, so there's part of the answer right there. That's the first part we solved for X. X equals A minus C over B. So now uh, we have 12 minus 5x equals 3. Remember the 12 is, uh, is uh, uh, a, and then uh, the b is uh, the 5, and the c is the negative 3. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in down into this equation down here. Um, uh, we're going to go a minus c, which is 12 minus a minus 3, and then over b is 5. Of course, uh, 12 minus minus 3 becomes 12 plus 3, so it's 15. 15 over 5 is 3. Okay, let's try one more. Uh, let's just solve for the variable. We won't do that second part right here. Let's solve uh, 3x plus uh, 5y equals 15 for y. Okay, so we're going to first take off that 3x on both sides. And when I subtract 3x on both sides, I'm left with 5y equals 15 minus 3x. And we're almost done. We're going to solve for y. So uh, 5 times y is 5y. So we're going to divide both sides by 5. And I get um, y equals 15 minus 3x all over 5. A real common error is, is kids want to uh, cancel out that 15 and that 5. You can't do that, you guys, because uh, that 5 in the bottom goes with the minus 3x also. Um, uh, but what you can do is separate them up since the 5 goes with the 15 and the 5 goes with the 3x. You can separate them up and then you can go ahead and cancel uh, with the 15 that way. That's fine. So uh, you can take uh, either one of those answers are okay, you guys. Um, uh, if if uh, uh, some books will probably take this is your answer right here and that's okay. And then, whoops, just missed that. And then some of the books will take, I'm using my mouse. We'll take uh, this as your answer. So either one would be just fine with me.